Hello and welcome to using ChatGPT to get help with Excel. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna talk about how to use ChatGPT to get basic help with Excel. Let's turn to Excel, exercise one. All right, in this exercise, we're trying to build a report and we're not familiar with all the different features and commands within Excel. So we're just gonna ask ChatGPT, which Excel feature can help us build a report fast? So rather than typing in the prompt here, I'm just going to copy this text and head to ChatGPT. Now here, I'm just gonna paste my prompt and hit enter. And ChatGPT says Excel's pivot table feature can help build a report fast by summarizing and organizing large amounts of data into a concise and easy to read format. And that's exactly right. That's the feature that I would use to quickly create a summary report. Let's go to the next exercise. Exercise two. Now let's say you're working in Excel and you're like, I have some data in a CSV file and I just wanna kinda bring it in and clean it up and I wanna know if there's an easy way to do that or I wanna know if there's an Excel feature that helps me do that. I'm just gonna copy this prompt. I'm gonna turn to ChatGPT and I'm just gonna paste it in. And ChatGPT comes back with Excel's Power Query feature, and that is the feature that I would use as well. And so it completely nailed it. Excel's Power Query feature can help you get data from a CSV file and format it for a pivot table. Power Query is a data transformation and data preparation tool that allows you to import data from various sources, including CSV files. And then after the opening paragraph, it then says to use Power Query, go to the Data tab in Excel and select From Text CSV, which is exactly right, to import your CSV file. From there, you can use the Power Query Editor, which is correct, to clean and transform your data, including filtering, sorting, and grouping. You can then load the transformed data into Excel and create a pivot table based on the data, which is exactly right. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise three. Now this one is just for fun, but I wanna have ChatGPT write a short love poem about Excel. All right, and I'll send you out by reading this poem. Oh, Excel, my beloved spreadsheet, so many cells to fill and edit. Your formulas and functions make my heart skip and jump like percussion. You organize my life with ease, with graphs and charts you aim to please. Your conditional formatting is nothing short of enchanting. I can't help but stare at your rows and columns so fair. You make my data so neat, my love for you oh so sweet. Oh Excel, my love for you will never cease. You bring order to my chaos with such ease. My heart sings with joy. Thanks to you, my precious spreadsheet, oh boy. <laughs> and there you have it. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a Pivot Table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of Pivot Tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 